Hey basketball players, today we're going to be building on some of the more basic basketball dribbling drills to make them more advanced. And that's what we're going to do today. So first we're going to start with a pylon in the middle. In this first drill, the basic version of this drill is to get shoulder width apart with your legs up on your toes, shoulders over the knees, over the toes, and we'll be crossing and touching that cone. That's the most basic version of this drill. However, we want to make this more advanced. So what we can do is dribble up to the cone. We can cross over, touch, and go. We can also go dribble up, get a little bit more advanced again, cross through the legs, touch, and go. And then you can even, if you would like, you can get even more advanced, go dribble up to it, cross, grab it, and go. Now I cup the ball there. That's not okay, that's a carry, but that's just so I can go slow, so I can explain this drill. Now, no matter how easy a drill may look, you always wanna try and push yourself farther and harder. So, this next drill is just a simple zigzag drill. The basics behind this drill is you're just gonna be dribbling up to the cone, crossing over, getting to the next cone, and crossing over. That's the basics, but we want to make this more advanced. So how can we make this more advanced? Well, there's two different ways. Number one, you can add in extra crosses at each pylon, or you can add in a secondary ball, and there's a couple of different options there as well. So really quickly, what we could do, dribble up to this pylon, we can go cross behind the back, cross, cross, whatever your combination may be and then cross and go and you want to try and make your crosses as fast as possible you can also two ball dribble up to each pylon cross and then keep on going or what i really like to do is to have players roll the basketball all the way around each pylon now in this next drill we're going to be having two different spots. It doesn't have to be the elbows. It could be any two spots that are a distance, roughly 10 feet-ish away from each other. We're gonna use the pylon. We're also gonna use the basketball. So we're gonna start on one side. We're gonna do a defensive dribble over, put the pylon down. Hopefully it stands. I need to do this one again. We're gonna dribble over, defensive dribble over, put the pylon down, cross, and back. Now. You can do this drill. On the crosses, you can change it up. So you can do not just a regular crossover, you can add in a through the legs or behind the back crossover. And this is a fantastic drill to do. Now the whole main idea behind the video today was to show you some basic dribbling drills and make them more advanced. Now, this level of basketball drill would be great for the player who is finding these basic drills way too simple to do, but cannot yet push themselves hard enough to attain what like an NBA player would do where they are trying to cross, 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 and whatever else, cross. I can't dribble at all today, which is terrible, but have a set, let's say four dribble set where they go cross through the legs, back, back through the legs, cross, cross, who can't do stuff like that yet. But if you can, that's actually another advanced dribbling drill that you could do when it's stationary. Now with each one of these drills, you don't wanna do it slowly like I did in this video. You wanna try and push yourself as fast as you can. Try to make those crosses as quick as you can. If you lose the ball, that's good. It means that you're pushing yourself. Try not to do that again. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time.